KK Women and Children's Hospital was founded in 1858, and since then it has evolved into a medical center with more than 800 beds and 600 specialists who are focused on providing excellent care in terms of obstetrics, gynecology, pediatrics, and neonatology. DDII also has a long history in the hospital, but we've grown particularly in the last 10 years. We've acquired new equipment such as a 3T MRI and also QMR. GASTO is a birth cord study that we launched in 2009. The name GASTO stands for Growing Up in Singapore Towards Healthy Outcomes. What we did in 2009 was we recruited about 1,200 mothers in the first part of their pregnancy and we followed the mothers and their babies very carefully during pregnancy and then after birth we, we are following up both the mother and the children as they grow older. Gusto helps us to appreciate the pathways that lead to two very important conditions that affect children these days and these are obesity and diabetes. Gusto also helps us to create new knowledge that will help us to improve the care of the children that we look after. So as the leading children's hospital in Singapore, uh, we have a responsibility to uh, look after uh, child health uh, through a continuum of time. Uh, so we need to measure these children's body composition across uh, the duration of childhood and uh, these measurements would include the various measurements of skin folds as well as uh, instruments that uh, measure how much body fat uh, there is in, uh, in the child's body. Dr. Marielle Fortier is the Head of Diagnostic Imaging. She has been an absolute treasure for us because she has uh, adapted all the protocols for us to allow us to do uh, MRIs at one week of life in infants without any sedation. She and her team created this incredible protocol that allowed us to do four to 500 uh, MRIs in very, very young children. And then her team again came through when the children reached four and a half years of age. Because at four years, it's not easy to convince a child to stay still for an hour in an MRI machine. And she and her team again came up with ideas to uh, persuade these children to go into the MRI machine. I am that link between the scientists and the technical staff and clinical staff, and also being an innovator. We're looking at things such as white fat, the distribution, brown fat, uh, as well as MR spectroscopy in muscles. Our experiences with Gasto has been a very pleasant one. Whenever he, when he goes to the MRI scanner, of course the very first time he was a bit sceptical because it's the first time seeing that machine. But then later on, especially for the second visit, he knows what to expect. Uh, when we come over, the staff showed us the miniature version yeah, and familiarised himself with the procedure. And then after that, we told him that, oh, we are going into this safari, uh, into a safari where he'll see many kinds of animals. So when he actually goes inside the room, he's like, you know, he looks forward to it. Espresso is uh, another birth cohort that we launched in 2015. The name Espresso means Singapore Preconception Study of Long-Term Maternal and Child Outcomes. We recruit women even before they are pregnant. We do very careful uh, phenotyping and biosampling of the mothers. We then follow up the pregnancy and the children and the mothers uh, in, in the long term. And the purpose of this study is to see how the um, nutritional status, health status and uh, emotional status of, the, of a woman, even before she gets pregnant, affects her pregnancy outcome, her child's long-term health, as well as her own health after pregnancy. The MRI scanning uh, for me personally was quite a scary experience because I'm naturally claustrophobic so not a good way to be <laughs> inside a tube for a very long time. Um, but, the, but the staffs were quite uh, helpful in terms of um, when I told them that I was claustrophobic, they gave me a headset with music on it. I'm very excited to be using imaging to study the effects of epigenetics. We're looking at maternal factors that impact on epigenetics and express themselves in a particular phenotype in Southeast Asian individuals. This is particularly important for metabolic disease such as diabetes. So with imaging, I'm hoping to come up with chemical and biological signatures 
that will act as preclinical indicators of metabolic disease.